So starters, these are one litre, so 1,000 millilitres square tubs. They're really, really versatile. I mean, look at them. They stack really well. I melt holes like you saw me do with a soldering iron. Um, and if you're stacking them up, you can put them right on the edge there. And then obviously some on the sides as well. And you can, uh, you can stack them up. They're banging. So yeah, it's a pot. Just a pot. So then fill that with coir. <laughs> now I say coir weird because I'm Welsh, so it's C-O-I-R, you know that coconut husk comes in the brick. Happy days. Uh, suck some in that, water it down, bit more, bit more water in there. Dog loves it when I do this. Sound. See, dry and wet, and it'll all kind of uh, soak into it eventually. So leave that now for 10 minutes. Could have done it before around with my hands, but uh, no. <laughs> so next, get the dog out the room. Off you go, Bernard. Out. Go on. Go on, buddy. Close the door on your way out. So that is not your ideal workspace. This is my chaos so I'm in it all the time. There's this shit on there that for some reason I use and some reason I just leave there. So do yourself a favour, clear everything away. Much better, still not fantastic. <laughs> so what we're going to need is another pot to tip out the macrothelia into and then a, um, a spider link tub as well like a vial um, or some other kind of pot much easier that way one into the other do you get me hopefully i'll be able to see it as well now they're not great at climbing plastic and glass but they're still gnarly little motherfuckers so all right i'll get that ready you look at those pots so I really want to faff about with this, right? So we'll just get the spider into a pot first and then I'll show you rather than me having to um, basically worry about what you guys see while I get the spider out. Um, so that's when mistakes happen usually. And this one I'm pretty sure is small enough that if it's gone in this, in this room, it's gone. And I'll end up with a dead cat or something. But two months down the line. So, taller pot, plenty of time for it to run then, plenty of time for me to sort my head out and get it done. Okay. Oh, right, okay, so it's actually just in this. It's just in the, um, in the actual, uh, oh, what the hell is that stuff called? Sphagnum moss, that's it. Right, so. Absolute shit episode for you guys. So there it is there. See? Now I know you're not dead, mate. 
There you go. Calm the fuck down. Stupid that isn't it? It's trying to tell the funnel web to calm the fuck down. Excellently nice and fat in your way, aren't you? And fast, beyond. So, Macrothelia raveni looks the size of my thumb, nothing more. I still don't want to mess around with it. it uh, it's an incredible little spider. Well worth all that faffing about to try and get it out. But, uh, I'll try and get some decent picks now and put them up because that's the only way we're going to be able to see the spider properly. Uh, let me try my best. Maybe like this. Yeah, shite. So, yeah, let's pop her. Try and get some decent pictures and then I will pop her in the tub and label it up. Oh, actually run over my finger then. <laughs> so that was rehousing Macrotheli Raveni, or Raven Eye. Raven Eye, yeah, named after Raven, maybe. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching that. That was uh, a lot of faffing about, uh, but a lovely, lovely spider nonetheless. Um, interesting fact for you is that um, they're hoping to use venom from this species of spider to help with leukemia. So, um, yeah, so that could be interesting. Obviously, not this one. This one stays with me. <laughs> but yeah, so things are happening all the time with spider venom. Happy days. Um, please stick around and subscribe. A thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, we will see you on the next one. It will be soon. So, yeah.